Hello, and welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward, and on this episode, I'll be talking about um, the HBO show Watchmen. Yes, the same Watchmen from the graphic novel and the movie that Zack Snyder made a few years ago. Um, this is set in all, you know alternate timeline, and I went in again with no expectations about the, the show. I, I enjoyed the movie Watchmen, and for the first episode, this is the review for the first episode. The first episode is... It's solid. Um, it, it it gives you a, a backdrop of what's probably going to be some of the issues in this season. Um, a lot of race relations. Um, the show opens up in Tulsa in like 1921. You see a bunch of white people killing black people. And you see a family trying to escape. And uh, the, the son manages to escape, but his family dies. And, and then it just fast forwards to 2019 in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma again. Um, a cop gets killed and it's a black cop. He gets killed by a white person. And in this timeline, something happened where cops were targeted um, by this uh, white supremacy group. And now cops also wear masks. So it's not only bad guys wearing masks, the cops are also wearing masks to hide their identity. So people won't attack them. And this cop, he gets shot while you know he makes a, re- a routine traffic stop. He's trying to find some information the guy ends up shooting him and that brings basically that brings Regina King's character into the equation uh she plays a character named Angela Abar she's the protagonist in the show her i guess her secret identity is Sister Knight and when you first get introduced to her she's she's talking to a class her you know her daughter's in a class she's talking about you know being a baker and you know she's not a baker but she she used to be a cop that's what she said she retired because during the incident, she was shot and, you know, she wanted to retire and become a baker. So it's been three years of peace between the police and this group called the Seventh Cavalry, which is the white supremacy group. But all of a sudden they kill it. They kill the cop. And now they trying to find out where these people are hiding, why they're coming back right now. And you get the, the foundation of, I guess, the series. Then you also meet Jeremy Irons character. He doesn't do much. He has like these two servants talking to him and they talk real strange. And every time he talks, it just you just it feels evil. It feels like he's just going to be a bad guy somehow, some way. Every time he talks, everything he says just has evil written all over it. So I don't know exactly what part he's going to play in this show. But when the show went off and you see like what may what's going to be coming out soon. You see a lot of Jeremy Irons, and he look, he's talking about wiping out humanity, in a sense. So for a first episode, again, introduce you to some characters. You see a lot of the cops. They all have all types of bandanas, masks, weird-looking masks on. And they they stand together, though. You know, it's not like the black people and the white people don't get along in the police force. It They stand together. They help each other out. Um, also, like... Police force is is different. Like the cop trying, he tries to get his gun, but like they can't even use their guns. They have to talk to someone to get their guns like activated. So violence played a part in this alternate timeline. Like it had to be heavy violence for it to be a situation where the cop can't even draw his weapon. He has to call in to draw his weapon. So it's a lot of that in this first episode. And it ends on like a, I want to say a cliffhanger where you're like, okay, I want to know more. How did this happen? Why did this happen? And I'm in. Uh, so for a first episode, I'm in. I want to know what's going to happen next. I'm intrigued uh, to see more about Regina King's character. Um, she has her own family. Uh, the police commissioner. I want to see everything that happened, you know, to make things get the way it is. And then just what's going to happen going forward, again, with Jeremy Irons' character. And just different people that that's going to play a part in this this season. So Watchmen episode one, I enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't over the top. It wasn't too much information to take in. You don't have to be a fan of Watchmen to watch this show, uh, but it's a step in the right direction, you know, for this series. So check it out. It's on HBO. Thank you for listening. Deuces.